Well, hello everybody. It is Cece and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been forever since I made a video. So do you even like remember who I am? Seriously though, it's been about five months since I made a video and to make that up to you, I figured I would do a highly requested video, which is my dorm tour. For those that don't know and may be new to my channel, I actually was a freshman in college this past year and so I chose to live on campus and this is my dorm and pretty much for the past eight months I've been promising to show you guys my dorm but I just never did and I'm actually moving most of my stuff out later today and tomorrow so I basically have to show you guys now. So without further ado let's get to my dorm tour but before we do I want to do two little disclaimers. Number one, my roommate moved most of her stuff out already so I do have permission to show her side but there's just not much there. Um, if you want to see what my roommate's side of the room looked like fully decorated, you can do that in my uh, moving to college day in the life of video, which is also in the college series. And disclaimer number two, um, when I came to the university I came to, I knew I would be commuting every year after this, so I did not invest very much in posters and decorations because I didn't really want to spend the money since I knew I would only be living on campus one year. But that is enough talking from me, so without further ado, let's get to my dorm tour. Well friends, so you walk into my dorm and this is your view. On this side is my roommate's side. As I mentioned before, she did move most of her stuff out. As you can see, she really doesn't have much left. Um, if you want to see what her side looked like completely furnished, go to my day in the life of moving to college and you can see that there. And then this is my side. So beginning, we have my closet, which as you can see, it's pretty vacant because I kind of moved some stuff out, but my closet is color organized. Um, up at the top, we just have a few like drawstring bags that I didn't know what to do with and my extra towels. Um, up top, like when it was cold, I had my winter pajama bin, but my suite was kept so hot that I never actually used them, so I brought them home months ago. As I said, we have the clothes here, extra hangers to your left, and on the right, we have this shoe rack which I really like having my hanging shoe rack I thought it was definitely beneficial and was a great way to organize things um, also in here we have my scarves um, my one jacket and my hanging jewelry organizer which if you saw my dorm room haul I had that there um, if you go down on the left you have my towel rack um, and the towel I am currently using Farther down, we have my shoes and my shower caddy. Um, this is where I keep the shoes that do not fit in the hanging bin, um, but I still need them. I also have my slippers, you know, cute ducky slippers, which I got as a gift. But definitely just lots and lots of shoes. There's my shower caddy. Perpendicular from my closet is my dresser drawer, where I keep my clothes that are not so, so formal. Um, over directly next to the closet we have my dirty laundry and my yoga mat. Um, around back there is an outlet which you guys can see a little bit. That's where I have my iPod charger. And then here is my dresser. Up top we have my beauty bin which has all of my beauty products, deodorant, things of that nature, makeup. Over here we have some workout DVDs that I had brought in for second semester but never really used. Over here we have a few of my just tea mugs. There's actually a third which I'm currently like washing. And then one of my extra water bottles I'm not using. Um, and on top of my dresser as you can see there are two paper towels right here and right here. Um, when I wash my dishes this is where I just put my dry dishes to dry so the paper towels are there to collect the moisture. Looking below is my drawers. The top drawer right here is my bra and underwear drawer, which I'm not showing you because you don't need to see. Next is my t-shirt and tank top drawer. These are the shirts that aren't so nice, just kind of regular everyday t-shirts. And the third drawer is my jeans, which as you can see, based on the fact that there are many, many jeans clean, I don't really like jeans, but I still have a drawer for them. Underneath my jean drawer is my yoga pants and legging drawer. Here's the black ones, here's the colored ones. Also, I'm sure you noticed that my 
jean drawer is blue jeans and then colored jeans since I do have a few pair of black jeans. And then the bottom most drawer is, also you can see my shadow, excuse that, uh, is my shorts. These are nicer shorts and capris. Um, and these are shorts that are just like sleeping shorts and Sophie shorts. And then I have an extra wash washcloth in there. Um, I did used to keep my excess towels over here, but when I brought home the bin that was up there, I just shoved them up there. So if we move on from my dresser, we have my bed and my underneath bed, which my bed is lofted really, really high. Um, you can see I have bed lifts there and my bed comes up to about shoulder height, so I do actually have to use a chair to get in my bed, but I love my bed. Um, the bedding is super cute. It's from Target, which if you saw my dorm room haul, then you saw that. Um, also underneath the bedding, I have sheets, and then underneath that, I have, um, there's actually a mattress topper that's right here. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a mattress topper for your bed. My dorm beds here are really uncomfortable, and having a dorm a bed topper for your dorm makes the bed really uncomfortable, really comfortable. Um, above my bed is actually a little photo collage I made. This is the only decorations I have in my dorm. Um, you can see I have all of my friends up there. I have my family members and my sister. Just a lot of the people that are important to me. You may have noticed that underneath my bed is a lot of storage. Um, I intentionally lofted my bed super high so that way I could have this area for storage. And the whole reason I did that is because of these cubes. Um, these, oh my goodness, won't stay up. These cubes were something that I happened to have at home with me and I saw in I Am Just a Makeup Lover's uh, YouTube channel's dorm tour, her name is Elena, that she had cubes under her bed and they're very, very beneficial. Um, as you can see, I used them for a lot of storage. Um, the first pink bin is feminine products, which you don't need to see. And the second bin is my extra tea and coffee stuff because I do, um, one of my sweet mates brought a tea kettle and then I have a coffee maker. In this second pink bin is um, just my extra dishes and forks and knives for if I eat my dorm. Underneath here is my extra like medical supplies. Um, I have some band-aids in there, I have some cough drops, some cotton balls. Over here is just extra baggies, um, sandwich baggies for snacks and then like shop right like grocery bags for trash and then over here we have uh, extra razors extra Purell and extra face wash next to my cubes is my snack bin um, which being that it is the end of May um, it's kind of vacant pretty much all that's left is crackers and oatmeal but at the beginning of the semesters, this was very, very full, and I had lots of food in there. Um, back behind it is just extra baggies and just kind of things that I moved when I, things that I used when I moved in that I just didn't really have a place for. Um, and then over here is my Chegg box of textbooks that I'm using for this semester, but don't currently need at the moment. Also, my tripod is there as well. So on the other side of my bed, we have my backpack, which there's actually really no set spot for my backpack. I kind of just throw it wherever. It usually does wind up there, though, because it's next to the desk. Um, I ha like to keep my desk pretty neat simply because I do use it sometimes for studying. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty organized. I have two lamps. I have this white lamp off to your right, and I have a gray lamp off to your left. Um, I typically use the white one more sim simply because it's closer to my bed and I can switch it on and off when I'm asleep. Next to it, I have this little plaque that I actually just recently got um, that says, Life is not a matter of counting the years, it's a matter of making the years count, which I really like. Um, behind it, I have some post-its, um, a Bible, some like extra pencils, this in this little white container. Um, I have some colored pencils, some paper clips, and then this is kind of just miscellaneous items that I didn't really know what to do with. 
Um, I would really recommend if that you have some sort of pencil sharpener and hole puncher in your dorm, simply because they're very beneficial and you never know when you'll need it. I have a picture frame. And then over here are textbooks that I am using for the semester, but um, not currently needing at the moment. And then up top, I just have some for fun reading books. So textbooks, textbooks, textbooks. And below that, we have some just random tchotchkes in this top drawer that I didn't really know what to do with. Um, extra pencils and pens, um, extra batteries, Game Boy, and extra note cards. And then underneath, we have the school supplies that I'm not using that day, but am using for the semester. So I have my social media stuff, my Planet Earth stuff, my math stuff. Um, and my history stuff and my news writing stuff are not in there because I'm currently using it. And they are currently in my backpack. Um, directly above my desk, you, I have my little whiteboard. Um, I use this sometimes and I write my to-do lists on it, but not often. Uh, as you can see, I have one for this week. And you guys are right there. See? Dorm tour. Um, under, next to my under the desk drawers, I have the chair. Um, which does this weird thing where it like leans back. Um, also, it's not very comfortable, so I brought one of my kitchen table cushion chairs. And it actually, I would definitely recommend doing that. It made it a lot more comfortable for long nights of studying. And then underneath, I just have my extension cord where I have all of my various cables, including my phone charger, my camera battery charger, laptop charger also goes under there. Finally, next to my desk, we have my trash can, and then next to the trash can, we have the micro fridge, which, as I said, came with the university. Um, I was very fortunate not every university provides their students with a micro fridge. Um, a lot of them you have to buy extra, but mine didn't. Um, there isn't a whole lot in here, just like the freezer is empty, and then my roommate does have some takeaway in there um, and some water bottles. And that is everything in my room. I hope you enjoyed seeing my dorm as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. And also, I do have tons of great content in store for this summer. So please, if you are interested, subscribe to that button so you can see all of those videos. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. You can comment down below if you're feeling so inclined. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.